The universe, a vast and infinite expanse, has existed for billions of years. Yet one question lingers, will it last forever? The answer, my dear friend, is a resounding no. As the saying goes, everything that has a beginning must have an end, and that includes our universe. But are there ways to destroy the very fabric that makes up our universe? And how soon could it happen? Let's find out. With recent advancements in technology, our understanding of the universe has grown by leaps and bounds. But so has the possibility that we could one day destroy it. In fact, some doomsayers predict that this potential apocalypse might be closer than we expect if nothing is done to address the growing concerns. To figure out how the universe would end, physicists have had to look at how it came to be in the first place. Some 13.8 billion years ago, a massive explosion occurred, leading to the formation of the universe. At first, the universe expanded, but after a while, probably after a few milliseconds, it cooled and condensed into galaxies and all the stars and planets that are contained in them. From then on, the cosmos has continued to expand at neck-breaking speed thanks to a mysterious force known as dark energy. Scientists don't know a lot about dark energy. However, it holds the solution to a lot of mysteries in our universe and how it could end. But ultimately, the way it would end would depend on the numbers in the models. The Big Freeze Based on our best models of evolution, the Big Freeze is the most likely way to destroy the universe. The idea around the Big Freeze is that if dark energy continues to accelerate the expansion of the universe forever, as scientists' calculations suggest that it will, then at some point, probably in a few years, the cosmos will slow down to its death. For perspective, that unfathomable year can be represented by one followed by a hundred zeros. If it were possible to study a certain patch of the sky from now until about a billion years from now, you'd notice that the stars turn red and eventually fade out completely. This is because the wavelength of their light would have been stretched farther and farther towards the red end of the spectrum by the expanding universe. And even if it were possible to see them, most distant stars and galaxies would still exist at least for a few trillion years. However, after some time, the expansion would diffuse the dust and gas floating around in space until there wasn't enough concentration in any one region to fuel the birth of new stars. And if this goes on, stars will become endangered species and eventually become extinct as the last one among them dies off. From then on, the degeneration era of the universe would set in about 100 trillion years from now. By then, only white dwarfs, neutron stars and black holes would exist. But with time, they too would fade off into oblivion. And eventually, by one Google year, the universe will enter its final age, which is the Dark Era. At this point, light and matter would be a thing of the past, and the remaining loose particles would exist and never come within a light year of each other, let alone interact. In other words, everything we've come to know as the universe would have been destroyed. But the time frame for the Big Freeze is so far off that our civilization might not even live long enough to witness it. However, there's yet another destructive occurrence that could wipe out the cosmos much earlier and it's none other than the Big Rip. The Big Rip. According to this model, dark energy doesn't just accelerate the expansion of the universe at a steady pace. Rather, it accelerates it exponentially until the fabric of reality is torn apart. Hence the name Big Rip. As the expansion continues to accelerate, it pushes more and more objects beyond the boundary, which in turn means that the observable universe is constantly shrinking. Once this happens, any two objects that are farther apart than this boundary will no longer be able to influence themselves through fundamental forces like gravity or electromagnetism. Similarly, the influence of gravity on the universe will begin to shrink. This, coupled with the shrinking distance, will cause the most gigantic structures to crumble and eventually dissolve into thin air. Consequently, the stars and galaxies across the universe will die off due to the same unfortunate event. And eventually, the cosmic event horizon will shrink beyond the scale of an individual star system, causing planets to go rogue as they will no longer be bound to their orbits around the stars. 
In the final few minutes of existence, the event horizon would shrink so badly that it would be smaller than the scale of molecules, disrupting the forces that bind matter together. Subsequently, the loose atoms that emerge from this process will be ripped apart piece by piece, and the fabric of space-time itself will dissolve. According to scientific estimation, this could be our reality some 22 billion years from now, when humans would most likely have become extinct species. But before you start celebrating, there's another doomsday scenario that could wipe us out as early as 100 million years from now. This one is called the Big Crunch. The Big Crunch. Imagine everything in the universe, from the tiniest quark to the most massive galaxy, all squished into an itty-bitty space. We're talking about a singularity so small that it would make your head spin. This reverse Big Bang, also known as the Big Crunch, is like a cosmic trash compactor. But instead of compacting garbage, it's crushing the entire universe. Unlike the Big Freeze and the Big Rip, this model predicts that our universe could be destroyed in the same way that it was formed. So, instead of expanding forever into nothingness, it could change course and collapse in on itself in one instant. But for this to happen, the universe would have to run out of galaxy. You might be thinking, OK, but how is that even possible? Well, hold on to your space helmets, because the destruction that the Big Crunch will cause is beyond even your wildest imagination. If, somehow, the density of matter in our universe increases exponentially, its gravity could overcome the expansion and trigger a catastrophic collapse. Consequently, the universe will witness a state of chaos, with galaxies and galaxy clusters merging together and stars colliding more frequently than ever before. The cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the leftover radiation from the Big Bang, would start to shift towards the blue end of the spectrum. And as a result, radiation would heat up and it would become hotter than stars, meaning that stars could no longer radiate their heat outward, leaving them in a sorry state where they'd continue to get hotter and hotter until they evaporated into oblivion. The Big Bounce Up next is the Big Bounce Theory, a twist that is hinged on the age-long astronomy classic that we've come to know as the Big Bang Hypotheses. The whole idea is that before the universe collapses into a tiny, infinite dense point of no return, quantum processes swoop in to save the day. Suddenly, the universe reverses course and begins a new phase of expansion, efficiently creating another universe entirely. This sounds like a plot twist in a cheesy sci-fi movie, but there's actually some real science to back it up. In fact, the Big Bounce theory itself is supported by another wacky theory called loop quantum gravity, which tries to explain gravity using quantum mechanics. In a nutshell, the Big Bounce theory could lead us into an era where we'd be stuck in a never-ending loop of universes being born and destroyed. It would be like Groundhog Day in the cosmos, but instead of reliving the same day over and over again, we'd be living in a never-ending cycle of creation and destruction. The Big Slurp We move on now to the Big Slurp, a false vacuum decay that could suck up the entire universe in a snap. By default, everything in the universe is always trying to reach a state of equilibrium. You know that cosy place where everything's chill and stable? However, not all quantum fields are as stable as they appear, especially the Higgs field. Think of it like an oddball that's lurking in a false vacuum state and carefully binding its time until it can wreak havoc on our universe. We're talking about a chain reaction that could demolish everything we know and love in the blink of an eye. And the worst part? We wouldn't even see it coming. The Big Slurp theory is such that everything could be fine this moment, and the next second, you're sucked into a whole new universe with completely different physics. Who knows what kind of twisted reality you'll be living in? Thankfully, there's some uncertainty around its validity. Some models predict it won't happen for billions of years, or maybe not at all. Others say it should have already happened, meaning we might already be in the middle of a freaky new universe. So if you're watching this and the world is still intact, congratulations. You have at least five more minutes to make amends for all your mistakes before the big slurp doomsday sets in. Or maybe not.